Wilson, can you tell us what the situation is like on the ground right now? Today it was very difficult, the road, we could not reach uh, through the, the regular road. And we have seen that most of the houses are destroyed and uh, we, we try to find evacuation centers. There were evacuation centers before, but most of the evacuation centers also collapsed. And uh, none of the houses, they, they, there is any roof uh, left, so, so people are living up, uh, in the sky. Okay, thank you for that. Um, can you tell us what are the humanitarian needs right now? Uh, the needs, uh, most of the need is uh, the shelter. Uh, they, they, they need uh, food, they need medicines uh, for uh, the injuries. Uh, they need uh, water also, portable water especially. Uh, some of them they say they need some fuel uh, because there is no electricity uh, here and uh, uh, also that uh, uh, they need uh, some uh, some portable uh, latrines. Uh, okay. What is the what is the ICRC doing to respond? So uh, in this response, we are uh, we are working uh, very closely with uh, the Philippine Red Cross, and uh, already we have sent 5,500 uh, families uh, the, for them uh, emergency food, hygiene items. Uh, cooking utensils like uh, the cooking pots and uh, the few other things, the jerry cans and uh, tarpaulin. And also we provided them the medicine uh, and some medical supplies. And uh, also we have uh, 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 assisted uh, the hospitals uh, in, the, in the disaster area uh, where, uh, where we supplied uh, some medicines and uh, medical supplies for the, the injured people. Okay, thank you very much, Wilson.